How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to Learning SRPG Studio. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the EV enemies, the evented enemies. We're going to set up some conditions to have additional creatures join the battle partway through the battle. Let's play the game. So I'm going to run a test play and we'll look at the example so you can see what we're going to be making. We awaken in a cave and we got to find our way out. There's Skeletons trying to kill us. We'll start the fight and we bring our guy down here. We're going to start attacking. We could talk in the last Last episode I went over talk events. So if we talk to them, they say, rah, scaly mans, but then there's also a forced encounter. I've set the conditions for this for when three enemies have died, then the boss demon will appear. We can talk to this guy. Whoa, what are you, scaly mans? And it actually says scaly mans not drift now, because I fixed the, the talk events, but whatever. So now three things have been killed and the demon appeared. The cave beast, the master demon appeared right here. So he can fly around. Let's kill the skeleton. We missed, but so did the skeleton. Now the demon's gonna come at us. Come at me, bro. All right, we leveled up. Here comes the demon. Just flies on the wall. But he missed. We level up again. Alright, how did I do that? You're gonna have to do a couple things. The first thing you wanna do is go into the map and then go to your enemies by clicking the button right here. Click over to the EV enemies tab and design a new unit. But when you wanna call an enemy to appear, not from the beginning, they have to become an event enemy. Well, I created him here and had a hard time figuring out why he wouldn't show up because you actually have to use him as an EV enemies to call him inside of uh, an auto event because we're gonna be calling this enemy inside an auto event. You design him, you give him your skills, stats, whatever, you make him right here and then you hit okay. Then you're going to click on the AT, which is your auto events, and click over to the auto events tab. Create a new auto event. In this case, I've called it boss arrives. You can give it an icon if you want. You don't really need to. What we need to do is set some conditions for this to happen. So auto events will happen automatically unless they are not meeting any of their requirements. So they will happen as soon as all the require requirements are met. We'll go down to this page one requirements and click on the three dots and it'll open up this event conditions tab. This event conditions page which has a lot of tabs click over to unit total you can use anything in here to toggle your conditions so pick whatever you want in this particular instance I'm using three enemies have died as the trigger I clicked on unit total I've checked the box that says enable this to actually be a condition and I'm reading it very literally saying when three enemies equals three enemies so a total of three condition equals army enemies have died when three enemies have died just like that and that's the condition so as soon as three enemies die, then this event is going to run. We'll create event commands, and in this one, I've selected unit appearance. And to find that, we'll do this. You click over to battle, and you click on unit appearance. And then you select the unit you want, and this is why you have to use an EV enemies, because the select unit doesn't select from enemies, it only selects from the evented enemies. So when the conditions are met, we select our cave beast enemy. We're going to select his direction. Um, if you have multiple artwork, I think, I'm not sure what that really does. I put it on left, but I don't know what that'll do. You select the position. This obviously tells the game where to spawn him at. You actually have to hit OK when you select a place. And then if that location is currently, if there's an enemy there, do you want the enemy to not appear or do you want it to appear in the nearest open space? Usually you'll want to appear in the nearest open space in case the character is on that location. It doesn't just stop the event from happening because it will. You select wait for completion if you want anything else to happen while that enemy is appearing. Make the player not be able to continue to go. That's all you got to do select the unit appearance you've set your conditions you've made an auto event and you've created some commands for the boss to appear when three enemies are dead and then just like in the example as soon as you kill the three enemies he appears and comes at you so that's gonna do it for this tutorial hopefully you guys like it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new here come hang out on discord link is in the description below if you would like to support what I do on this channel it would be very appreciated if you head over to patreon.com slash driftwood gaming and become a backer supporter whatever level is comfortable for you it's all appreciated Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to smash the like button, like the smash button. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.